I'm going to show you how to export your pages. Now there's a couple ways to do it. You always do it within story. If you want to export more than one page, you do it without any pages open. But let's do it just one page at a time because that's how you're going to export yours to turn them in. So you open the page you want. It's very simple. Go to story, batch process, and then choose batch export. Now you're going to get a bunch of options here. You're going to want to make them JPEGs for this because this is what you're turning in on uh, Classroom. Change the location by clicking Refer and then figure out what folder you want it to go into. I'm just going to put it on the desktop for this example. Okay, now you can go in and tell it which pages you want or you can do the whole book. I'm just doing page one so this is all good. Once that's set, then it gets complicated. Then you've got all this stuff. Uh, now, if you're doing your final version, you want to leave it at 100%. But you're not doing that right now. You're turning it in. So we're going to take this 100% on your scale ratio from original data down to 20%. Okay, that's a fifth of the normal size. That's manageable as a file size. And you can leave it on fast or you can hit prefer quality down here on rasterize. Either one is fine. Okay, this is all good. Quality is 100. This should all be set like this. And you hit OK. Okay, now it's going to convert it um, to CMYK because that's how I've got it set. Um, you're going to want to print in CMYK. So I'm going to hit yes. It's important that you know the conversion to CMYK is going to change your colors. So when you do your export, you need to be aware that the colors are going to change slightly. Okay, let's see if I can find this export, and there it is right there. Now I've got my file. It's trimmed the page to the right size, um, and it's in JPEG form, and that's what I'll turn in. Okay, now if I want to export the whole thing, I will close this page and it'll do it automatically here if I go to story batch process batch export notice it has all so I can do the whole book at once or I can do just the pages I need and I can change it here if I want just a couple of pages let's say 24 through 26 I can do that as well um, now you do have the option to export the spreads separately you shouldn't have any spreads, so just kind of ignore that. You don't want to export anything separately. It, it won't make any difference. And that is how you export your files. It's very, very simple.